Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and a few weeks ago I did my six month follow up on the iPhone XS Max. And if you watch that video, you would know that I dropped my phone into a lake. In fact, it fell off that corner right there when I was taking the thumbnail photo, rolled down a hill, and fell into the water. Now it was underwater for about three minutes or so until I walked down there and took it out of the water. It was about two to three feet of water. It wasn't very deep. Now, many of you noticed that when I was filming that, I actually had some moisture buildup under the camera lens, and sure enough, there was water in it. In fact, I turned the phone off, I stopped using it for a few days, and I was using the iPhone XR instead, and then I went back to using the iPhone XS Max. It was working fine, I was able to do everything I could with it, just like I can now, but then all of the sudden, it started to reboot. So you'd get the Apple logo, it would just restart, get the Apple logo, and do that over and over and over. And so I made an appointment with Apple, I went to Apple and showed them my phone. Now, not only did I have water under the front, I also had it under the back. Now keep in mind, it was only under the water for three to five minutes at most, under about two to three feet of water, or one meter of water or less. Now the iPhone's supposed to be IP68 certified, and what that means is it's dust resistant and water resistant past one meter for up to 30 minutes. So I thought it'd be fine, bring it in and have them swap it out with Apple Care. So when I brought this into the Apple store, I was surprised to learn that they considered that accidental damage, even though it's water, it had no damage that was visible on the outside, there were no scratches that were super deep, the screen was not cracked, the back was not cracked, but still, they made me pay the $100 fee to replace it under Apple Care. Thankfully, I had Apple Care. However, if I did not have Apple Care, it would have cost me $600 or $599 in the US. And so I actually called Apple and said, why are you charging for this when you advertise this phone as water resistant? And they said, we don't cover accidental damage. They consider water getting into the phone as accidental damage. Now this seems to vary depending on where you go. I went to one Apple store that's near me and they told me I would have to pay for it. I went to another one and they said, ah, normally you wouldn't have to pay for that. So it seems it's up to the discretion of the person at the Apple store. Either way, I thought it was quite ridiculous, but I did have to get a new phone either way since it didn't work and ended up paying $100 for that. So here is the new phone. As you can see, it has a case on it. I may take this off at some time. It's the exact same phone, 256 gigabyte, brand new, and it works just fine. It has a screen protector on it. Now that was the first time I'd ever dropped my phone or dropped my phone into water. And I have to say that I was pretty disappointed with that outcome of having to pay $100 for something they advertise as being water resistant. So I actually did some research and called Samsung to ask them them if they would cover it as well and they said no they wouldn't you would have to pay a hundred dollars if you had samsung care and they would replace the phone if it had water ingress so just keep that in mind do not use these in water without a waterproof case do not take them in the shower without a waterproof case because if they're damaged apple won't cover them but this is the new one it's working well love to hear your experience if you've had your iphone replaced in the apple store or maybe through a third-party carrier what has it been like for you and of of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description and the case and the screen protector there as well if you're interested in that. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.